Today we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to perform a whole house or block load using the EMS load calculator. We've already entered the customer's name, address, phone number, and date. To begin, let's start by entering the design conditions for the area that you're in. In our area, our indoor design temperature is going to be 70 degrees for the winter and 75 degrees for the summer. The outdoor design temperature will be 20 degrees for the winter and 95 degrees for the summer. We will now select the direction that the home is facing. In this case, it will be south. We're going to select the humidity. We are moderately humid. Select how tight the house is. It's going to be an older house, so we'll call it an average house, over 1,500 square feet. We have one fireplace, and the fireplace is average tightness, and we have four people. We'll now go to step two, and we will enter the overhang characteristics. Facing east, we have an overhang, and the window is one half a foot uh, or rather there's one half a foot of space between the top of the window and the eaves, so that's 0.5. The west is the same, that's 0.5. Now the overhang sticks out one and a half feet, so that's 1.5, and the west side it sticks out 1.5 feet. Now when we get down to the type of window we're using, we uh, are going to use the manufacturer specs. So by that we will, we will uh, check the little box next to manufacturer specs. We'll put the latitude that we are at. In this case, it will be 36 degrees. We'll take the manufacturer's U value, which is 0.35. All windows are different, and the uh, SHGC is going to be 0.40. And we just in insert all the square footages of the different directions that the windows are facing. And if you'll notice that the HDMs are already uh, figured for you. And we're here on the east side because we've got an overhang, but we want to enter in this column where it says linear feet below overhang is the linear feet along the top of all the windows. In this case, it says it's 14 feet across the top of all windows facing east. And in the west, the, let's say that it is 12 feet across all the windows uh, facing west. And we end up having a solar gain of 7,627 BTUs. Now we're going to take a look at our duct system. Our ducts are going to be located in, uh, in the attic, trunk and branch system. We enter our attic temperature, 120 degrees. Insulation is R or R8, and it's a sealed system. And the duct system is going to serve 1,800 square feet. Now we'll go to step three. Here we'll put in the area of the walls, maybe 1,620 square feet. And we've got 42 square foot doors. Your debt walls have been determined for you. The ceiling is 1,800 square feet. We've got floors over a crawl space at 1,800 square feet. And the volume is going to be 16,800 cubic feet. Now we're going to go back and select our insulation. Our windows are double glazed. Our doors are insulated. The walls are 11. Ceilings are 19. And the floors are R11. And now we have just completed our load calculation. I know it looks like it's kind of quick, but we did. This home has a heat loss of 39,000 BTUs and a heat gain of 27,000 BTUs. Our summary is over here, and it calls for a 2.3 times. Thank you for looking at our demonstration.